really uh, about reducing resource use and the resources we use, to use them more sustainably. When we buy products here in our safe, rich countries, we only see the product. We don't see what is behind it. We don't see how the resources are extracted from the earth and what this means for people living abroad. Les sociétés de manufacturation qui sont dans le nord, qui achètent le coton et fabriquent des tissus, doivent regarder, doivent se soucier de la vie sociale et économique des producteurs du coton. We do not need a green niche. We need to achieve an overall sustainable economic growth. This means, in principle, that humankind is influencing the planet, not as if we had in the past natural phenomena, but where the fingerprint of human activities are very clear. We actually are bumping into the limits of economic growth. We have come, as, as Richard Heinberg says, to the end of economic growth. So even if we don't change our meat consumption, all of those things, we're already very high. We are doing lots of new things that will increase Europe's land footprint. And the only way we can deal with that is by having policies to stop that increase. It's full time that Europe came to a realization about the kind of the, the massive scale of resources that we're using. I will not give a long introduction because I think our panel is so excellent that... Uh, we have uh, three speakers. And I will try to, to stimulate a very good discussion. And convince European citizens. An attempt to increase materials extraction within Europe. What's want to jump in everybody else. So we have a question that I would... Uh, for most reason, I would say that you would not need to try. Places like Chile, places like Cameroon, that the problems that are faced there are uh, caused by some of the things that we do, and in fact the solutions that we are beginning to put into place in our country will hopefully have an impact there. Esto se repite no solamente en Paraguay, sino que también en Brasil, en Costa Rica, en Bolivia, en Uruguay. La permanente violación de las regulaciones ambientales. Donc il y a déjà pas assez d'eau pour vivre normalement. Mais quand on y ajoute une activité euh, cotonnière qui est de plus en plus envahissante en termes de, 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 de préoccupations euh, spatiales, etc. Looking at many of the actions that have to take place in Europe to start moving towards a much more sustainable form of managing our resources and of uh, being efficient with our use of resources. Water, energy, land, of course. That is for us, in my view, the main green part of this new model. Thank you very much. Thank you also for the invitation. To speak. I say happy birthday. 25 years, you are young. Not only friends of the earth, Chile, but also an actual victim. Para los otros países de la región latinoamericana. Which seem to be one of the big things in the green economy, sure that the, the, the most damaging goods are no longer available. Are we responsible or irresponsible with uh, natural resources? If we are responsible. <laughs> <laughs> voilà, merci.